for having me to us with you. Michael Kuzovak, welcome to Leo Gusak School. People are using this place in many, many different ways. We have uh, preschoolers coming with moms and dads. We've got kids, high, regular uh, sort of primary school kids. We've got high school kids doing research. Tamani, 30, 40 in Nitut, Upakatatu, Tamangatan, Namatuirangan. Tanelo Patrick, Kalik, Ilinyak, New York, Selecto serving me, Tapunga Sungovo, Pinisuaro Sitaman. Yeah, Tamana to Tilimarel, um, business cartoon. Patrick <laughs> And even the most reluctant readers and writers, when they come in and see that little red flag saying, you've got mail, Bill, how do you, what's that word? How do you read that? How, how do I write back? But when our kids here write about going on the land hunting with their dad or going, you know, caribou hunting or, or going on the flow edge of Hudson Bay and being, see, seeing seals and polar bears, kids from like the Bronx, a 14-year-old girl named, I think it was Camilla Estevez or something, wrote back saying, unbelievable. I go to the Bronx Zoo and I see these animals and I can only dream of what you see in your normal existence as kids growing up here in the north. It allows our kids to suddenly realize that their lives, unlike what the cable TV might, the images that they might get from that, the internet gives them the feedback from other people around the world to say, what you have to say as a young person growing up in the north is interesting and valued and it it allows our kids to grow in confidence and self-esteem. Tamanna kaasaw yekko tusaw makattaw tinak atok taw bolle yimang mat nuna vomi ammalo be okalaw tok tanna igala kaasaw yekko atwin naw tinak awla nakatya pok nuna lid pi yima yangin ning atutya mata. But I think the reason why it works so well is because it's a grassroots model. It's been built from volunteers and and partnerships from the ground up and I think that's what's going to make it successful in the long term.